welcome to my walk around video of my recently acquired 1996 Acura SLX aka Isuzu Trooper uh, these are rebadged for Acura with their entry into the SUV market prior to the development of the MDX uh, this one's got about 180 some thousand miles on it. I trailered it home yesterday with uh, an alternator only making about 11 volts. So uh, that'll probably be my first problem to solve with this car. Uh, overall, it's pretty straight and clean. Everything's there. Um, maybe there's a couple little door dings here and there. But, like I said, pretty straight and clean. It's all there. Not sure what they call this green color from Acura. But it's pretty nice. See so the Trooper Limited wood grain door trim. The leather steering wheel. Shows a little bit of wear, but no real big tears hopefully that'll condition up nice yeah. 184,879 miles on the odometer i also own troopers i had sort of hoped that the leather interior would be good in this just in case i wanted to uh, abandon this project and put the leather seating into my trooper but it's in pretty rough shape under the seat cover there i'll probably keep an eye out for a passenger seat and try and swap it over to driver's side at least on the first generation troopers the uh bolstering and fabric is symmetrical so you can swap it over from one side to the other um back seat back seat looks to be in pretty good shape Still got all the Acura floor mats in there. Got the oversized Safari moonroof in it. Um, it does have the cool little trip computer here with the compass built into it. It's a desirable item for trooper guys. Uh, we'll have to see if it can go into my other trooper or if it's staying in this one. Uh, the one major little, you know, body things bug me sometimes is I'm not a body guy and they can be hard to repair. Somebody shut the door so hard on this one that they broke the arm there, caused some dents underneath the door, damaged the bumper. I'll be able to replace that little arm and maybe touch up that paint some. Uh, see what I can do about the dents that it caused in the body but like I said I'm not a body guy but maybe I can get that straightened out a little bit I uh, tried to take off the spare cover spare tire cover yesterday to look and see if the spare tire had ever been used it had not been it's still brand new tire you can see there the green stripe on it however I was a little bummed this uh, spare tire cover is quite brittle and even started to crack just when I was uh, trying to unzip it. So I didn't take it all the way off yet. I was gonna maybe see if there's something I can do to soften that vinyl up a little bit and get it off without tearing the, the cover because that'll be an item that'll be pretty difficult to find. Uh, anyway, the back doesn't have the uh, cargo cover that my 94 has but it does have this the little factory Acura webbing back there for the cargo area so those types of things I like to have um, somebody spilt something back here in the carpet we'll see the carpet will probably come out and get pressure washed uh, pretty good condition though it's not the top of the line model as it doesn't have the uh, headlight wipers but it does have the moonroof and the leather interior um, 
seems to run pretty good. I mean, they're all these three twos are kind of notorious for a valve tick. I own three of them now, and out of the three that I own, this one seems to tick the least, actually. It has zero maintenance records for it, so I have no idea if timing valve anything has ever been done on this. Uh, the engine's pretty greasy, so. I am to assume that not a lot of maintenance. It's got a little bit of tip, but uh, not as bad as others, like I said. It uh, must have had some rooms working in it. It's a previous owner who tied some uh, fabric softener with some hoses. I was looking around a little bit yesterday. I did find that there's a broken wire here on the harness that goes down to the alternator maybe that's my alternator problem like i said it's only making like 11.73 so uh something's going on with the optima in there at least it'll run and ran enough for me to get it on the trailer but no check engine lights or anything i let it run in the driveway for quite a while yesterday it didn't overheat or anything Everything appears to work. Factory CD player, factory tape deck, AC. Of course, I didn't test the cruiser or anything like that because I haven't driven it anywhere, but uh, there's the white troop. But there she sits. The 1996 Acura SLX. We'll see... Uh, where this project goes. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.